last oh. week. And not really off topic. It's moto related. Oh. You watch you watch the cat's vlogs. I don't. AJ I, Cat Zero. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of him. So I've been watching his vlogs. I don't like watching a lot of his other stuff, but I do like his race vlogs. They're okay. But um so they were at Indy two and he's got this dude filming for him, right? Yep. And uh dude comes back after practice and apparently doesn't have his camera in his hand. So apparently they came up to him and basically told him, Oh no, you can't film on that camera here. I think the kid had a red or something. He must be pretty big into filming or something. I don't oh, know. had a badass game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, so they basically told them, because he got on the phone with Sean Brennan or whatever, and Feld basically told them that, well, this goes way up, way farther up the chain of command, and it's basically an NBC thing of we can't have footage out there, blah, 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 whatever. So this, I mean, dude, when I when I was hearing this as I was working, I, I like, dude, I got irate. I was so fucking mad. Yeah, yeah. Because Ridiculous. this is the shit that these fucking companies can't figure out why whatever they're doing. And, I'll, dude, I'll, th- I'll lay this on NBC because I don't give a fuck. NBC can fuck themselves. Yeah. This is the shit they do that makes it, I don't know why we're we're lacking coverage yeah, or people yeah. wanting to view our stuff because motherfucker you, you got can't people get it viewing, out there yeah the guys are viewing this guy's stuff and you're angry because you're not getting a slice of the pie he's not even that small okay he's got 50 60 thousand subscribers i think something like that okay so this guy i bet is they don't even sell 50 60 thousand tickets no to a normal race so he's putting eye that many eyes or saving half of it so he's putting thirty thousand eyeballs on this race fucking coverage and you want to throw a fucking ba- uh, tantrum of, well, we have the video rights. They told him, well, you can use 45 seconds of GoPro footage. Mm-hmm. 45 seconds of GoPro. That's yeah, all you I can use. That. I knew that. I filmed a whole fucking vlog at the goddamn race the other day on my fucking cell phone. Go fuck yourselves, NBC. I live streamed mm-hmm. the fucking uh, qualifiers. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, it just fucking drives me up the wall. Baseball does the same fucking thing. Baseball. They don't let people do it in baseball. Oh no. You can't take a you can't take anything in. The fact that you I mean, dude, literally, from what I've heard, what, if you So go, were they just pissed he didn't have a media credential or what's the story there? I don't think he had a media credential. That's which is weird too, reason. because you should have applied for that, number one. Yeah. That might be a big, big part of the story we're missing. That that that's probably part of it, but then again you go back into Feld controlling the media credential side of it too, which to me is just fucking ridiculous because it's like I, I don't know, man. Yeah. To me, the whole thing is fucking stupid. Okay, yeah. you you want to put this stuff out there, and and this translates into across all sports. I mean, baseball is the same way. I've heard for years, baseball, as far as the social media post goes, if you pay attention, you will not see a baseball post on social media that doesn't come directly from the MLB. No, no shit. If the MLB doesn't put it out, you will get. I mean, dude, you can take it on your fucking cell phone. From what I understand, it'll get flagged, find it. taken down, whatever. Yep, yeah, 100%. But, uh, what I don't understand is how is random Joe Blow, let's say, I think it's on YouTube, Power Sports House or some shit. They go, they rip NBC Peacock footage and then put 250 Heat 1, 250 Heat 2 right on YouTube. I have no idea. And just get thousands of views and subscribers. No on. idea how that works out, to be really honest Why don't we do you. it? Fuck it. Let's get I, our so I tried Let's at get one point. Rank no, up. no. So I tried at one point. So like three years ago, was it three years ago? Something like that. I actually went, I applied for media stuff. They told me no, but then they were like, well, you can use the media stuff on the website or whatever. So I went mm-hmm. to the website and I want to say it was like the Dallas round. And I pulled the video or download the video off the Dallas round, which was basically the highlights video. Yeah. And then I put it on our video when I was talking about it. Cause I think I was in, I was in Florida or something, so I was doing a solo show. I put it on there, and dude, within two days, got fucking really? blasted, taken down. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, and I'm like, know. what the fuck? This is the shit you told Did me you to get go. Any subscribers off it though? I don't know. No. It, it only got a few hundred views before it got taken down. It just blew my fucking mind though, and to the fact that I emailed them and they were like, oh yeah, we don't know. Like I emailed them like, what the fuck is going on? I literally went to your website, used the video footage you told me to use, yada yada yada, and they were like, oh yeah, we don't know the fuck do you mean you don't know yeah it's a, it's a hillbilly show they ain't, or just like i, I mean and, 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 and i don't want to direct i don't want to just call out nbc and the ama or feld because it's not just them it's fucking all of these all major sports, sports networks They're like it's all fucking dumb and then it's like okay with with the feld thing and the feld and the nbc thing 
you're not covering these privateers. They're no, not getting not coverage from getting you. No TV time. So now they're not getting coverage from you. They can't fucking film anywhere but in the pits. Like, dude, fuck off. It's just like <laughs> it, you can compare it to restaurant owners during COVID. Oh. Anything they try to do to to m- work it out, make yeah. their way around it, get shut down. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, oh, here's a prime one. Kevin has his GoPro on yeah. during practice, right? What you're not supposed to do. Oh, he caught the jet crash. But he and caught they the jet it. crash, and then they fucking used and then it. Then they used it, yeah. Well, hey, he only used 45 seconds because he only put up one lap. So, you know, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe 47 seconds, but whatever. It's good well, I, at first, they didn't even give, give him credit for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. If, dude, if I was Kev, as soon as I saw that on Supercross, dude, I would have been hitting them up and been like, um, No, you can't use this. I'm going to need some royalties from that. I would have said you can't it. use this. <laughs> I'm going to need like, some free entries for the rest of the year. A free COVID test. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, that that's my first rant. It's just like it's so dumb. And especially, like I said, because the guys doing it are these guys that aren't getting coverage. Like, Ken Roxon's not doing it. Honda's not out there producing a fucking show about their Supercross racers. You know, Cowie's not out there producing a show about their Supercross racers. Right. They don't need it. They're on TV all the time. Right. But then you get these little guys who you're already overcharging to go to the race. You're already making them pay for these stupid fucking COVID tests. All this bullshit like that. You're doing all this shit to fuck these guys. And then they can't even do anything. Right. I mean, dude, it's just like they can't sell merch in the pits. Fuck off. Yeah, Literally, I think that's fuck bullshit. off. I went through that thing. I just, I went through that. My mom wanted a Roxon shirt. Yeah. And as we know, Astafin's like, yeah, hey, you guys ain't owning Roxon. I love Astafin for that side of it. Yeah. And I couldn't get a Roxon shirt. They no. must have done limited sizes of them because they did have them there. Yeah. But every every booth I went to, they didn't have the size. <laughs> Interesting. So I wondered if they were just limited up the supply or what i don't know that's that's interesting it is interesting that they even had a shirt with him because if you watch you know we watch the yeah, motor but i think stuff. with a guy with a name that big they gotta do something you can't not have one of the big three in the merchandise stand i don't know asked but they asked him was pretty hard on they were not going to own kenny or ac ac ain't on there they do have some chad reed ones though still oh do they yeah yeah well that's a thing um okay what, what else you got I guess that just ends that kind of rant, right? <sighs> anything else on that? I could rant for hours. No, I think it's bullshit. It is. Um, the guy finds his way to get a name for himself. Canton Zaro hasn't made a main. He's not going to make a main, in my no, opinion. No, absolutely not. Sorry, bud. But I only, only because I watch his fucking vlogs do I even pay attention to him on the track. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, I mean, and then we could talk about, like, team's marketing strategy. And because I've heard some different things about this on yeah. Blair's podcast of, like, how it's so stupid how these teams, like, what's your marketing strategy? 